What's up guys, so in honor of the Halloween season, I wanted to do a special for you, so enjoy. October 31st, 2013, Halloween night. While the country was out trick-or-treating, the Bengals and Dolphins were preparing for what looked like another Thursday night bummer, as most are. The Bengals came into the game favored, sitting at a pretty 6-2 and, and coming off a 49-9 shellacking of the New York Jets. The home team Miami Dolphins were 3-4, and four, losers of four straight. In other words, no one was going to turn down candy to watch this one. With the Bengals favored by the media and Vegas, they were a safe bet. This game started out sloppy, with the Bengals fumbling and the Dolphins missing a field goal in the first quarter. In the second quarter, the Bengals finally got on the scoreboard. With a Mike Nugent field goal, Miami responded a few drives later with a Ryan Tannehill rushing touchdown. Miami also kicked a field goal before halftime to put the Dolphins up 10-3 at half. At halftime, this game looked exactly like any other boring Thursday nighter. But then, the excitement happened. At the Miami 10-yard line, Andy Dolphin dropped back. Looking to his right, he threw a risky pass that was intercepted by cornerback Brent Grimes. Grimes had ultimately run the ball back 94 yards for a touchdown. Now it was 17-3 Miami and the upset was on. Finally, the Bengals showed some life, responding on the next drive with the Giovanni Bernard rushing touchdown. After a Dolphins punt, the Bengals responded once again, with Giovanni Bernard having the play of his life. Check it out. With the score now 17 all, Andy Dalton had the Bengals in scoring range, but once again he threw an interception. Andy Dalton then led the Bengals on a 36 yard drive that was capped off by an epic Mike Nugent 54 yard field goal. Now Tannehill, with the ball in a minute 24 remaining, led the Dolphins 50 yards to set up Caleb Sturgis on a 44 yard kick to tie the game with 11 seconds remaining. Overtime. In the extra period, it became a battle of the punts, until Cincinnati got the ball with about 7 minutes remaining in overtime. With 3rd down and 10 for the Bengals at their own 8 yard line, the Bengals lined up, hoping to pick up a first down. On the other side of the ball, Cameron Wake lined up. Wake, an all pro the year before, and a 5 time pro bowler, got down in his stance. Having already had 2 sacks in the game, he had Dalton's number. Dalton dropped back, seeing a wide open Marvin Jones in the middle of the field, it looked like the Bengals would move the chains, but then... This was the first game winning safety since 2004 and capped off a rare quality Thursday night football game. The Dolphins would finish the season 8-8, eight eight, missing the postseason, and the Bengals would finish the season 11-5, but lose in the wildcard round. Although these teams didn't have great years, they wouldn't forget this game. Alright, if you guys like this, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, and happy Halloween.